children happy new year yes it is 2021 let's hope it's a good year so new year is a time traditionally where people make resolutions or promises for a healthier happier and kinder year and i thought this time of year would be a great time to look at how we can be rooted in Jesus because what better time than the beginning of the year to start thinking about how you can be more rooted and attached to Jesus. So I brought a plant along for us to have a look at. This is an orchid plant and can you see the roots? They go right down into the bark here. And what do the roots of a plant do? What do they do? That's right. They suck up water and nutrients from the soil or the orchid has bark or moss. They suck it up into the plant and that helps the plant to grow. And that's where these beautiful green leaves come through. Or in this one's case, the beautiful purple flowers. Now an orchid gets its uh, moisture from the air so a lot of these roots have come out because this one lives in my bathroom and it sucks up the moisture from the air a little bit like me having this glass of orange juice so this is liquid that my body needs because i am 80 percent water but it's also got orange juice in which is vitamin c which is the nutrients Vitamin C helps my immune system so I can fight off nasty infections and viruses. So when I suck up the straw, it's like the roots sucking up the water from the soil. Or oh, refreshing. And that's what the roots do. Now, without being filled with goodness, we would struggle. And in John 15, verse 1 to 8, Jesus says that I am the vine and you are the branches. And I have a video for us to take a look at to understand what Jesus meant. Let's take a look. Jesus said, I am the vine and you, the people, are the branches. Branch? I'm not a branch. I don't mean like a tree branch. I don't get it. The vine and branches were used by Jesus as an example. It means you are a child of the King. That's Jesus. Really? That's awesome. Does that mean I get to wear a crown? It gets even better than that. Not only are we children of the King, but when we look like Jesus, we will have fruit that sets us apart. Oh yeah, I remember. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, those fruits come from being connected to Jesus, right? Yes, that's exactly right. And Jesus even says that those who remain connected to him will produce fruit. But apart from him, you can do nothing. Kind of like when a light isn't plugged into a wall? Exactly like that. Just like a light cannot function without being plugged in, we cannot function without being connected to Jesus. Jesus loves us so much that he wants to be close to us like really close. He wants to be our greatest friend. Really? So how do you get that close to Jesus? By following God's commands and doing things like praying and attending church, we can get close to him and in return, he will get even closer to us. Jesus said that in doing this, we become like the disciples. They were really close to Jesus, like best friend close. And we can be too. We just have to stay connected to God all the time, not just in church. He is the vine and we are the branches. And as long as we remain in him, we will grow much fruit. So in that video, Jesus said, I am the vine and you are the what? That's right, the branches. And he said, if you remain in me or rely on in me or trust in me, then you will grow fruit like fruit of the what? Not apples and oranges, no. Have another go. Fruits of the Spirit, that's right. 
Now, we did the fruits of the spirit back in the autumn. Can you remember what they were? They were love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Well done, guys. Jesus also said if we didn't stay connected to him like the branch does to the vine, then we can do nothing. A bit like this grape stalk here. So as you can see, that's a grape stalk. It's not connected to the vine anymore, is it? It's just like a twig. And um, is that going to produce fruit? No. Because where's its nutrients coming from? That's right, it hasn't got any, has it? Because there's no roots, there's nothing giving it food or water. So that's no good. But before these beautiful grapes were taken from the vine, they'd stayed attached to it. So the vine would have been here. So that would have been Jesus. And look, it's produced some beautiful grapes. I bet they're really yummy too. Mmm. Maybe next time you're eating grapes, you can think about this. So yes, but if, if like the stalk we had a moment ago, we're not connected to Jesus, we actually don't get any goodness, do we? So where do we get that goodness from? That's right, we get goodness from Jesus, don't we? Yes, so learning about him, so reading the Bible or talking to other Christians about him. What else can we do to get to know Jesus more like a friend? Yes, we can talk to him and listen to him. That's praying, isn't it? So we can pray to Jesus more and stop and listen to what he's got to say or how he answers our prayers. Having a little book to write that down is a good idea. And we can also praise him for the great answer to prayer, which is worship, singing and dancing and just saying how good God is. So, guess what your challenge is, guys? Yes, over the next few weeks, I would like you to try and stay connected or rooted in Jesus by talking about him, praying to him and asking him for everything you need and listening for what he says and worshipping, singing and dancing and just saying how great God is. So I'll leave that with you and uh, oh, what have I forgotten to do? That's right, we need to pray and ask God to help us, don't we? So let's get in our prayer positions and bow our heads. So, dear Jesus, thank you that you love us, that you want to be our friend and want us to live the best lives we can, producing good fruit. Forgive us for times when we have lived our own way, doing what we want to do. Please help us to be rooted in you, living by your spirit, living how you lived, so we can produce good fruit in our lives. Roll your arms. Amen. So we've done our talk. We've watched a video. We've discussed. We've prayed. What time is it now, children? Yes, it's crafting time. So, what is our craft today, Lottie? So, today we have a lovely, can you see that? It is quite big, a lovely uh, grapevine with vines and leaves and grapes on. So, what will you need to do that? Well, you will need some green card some green paper, some purple paper, some glue, some pens and pencils to write and draw with, a hole punch, 
and some scissors. Watch out, they're sharp. So let's get crafting. So how do we make a I am the vine and you are the branches craft? So starting in the middle, make a little curve round like that. And then we're going to do a spiral right round, like this, all the way round, big as you can. So this is going to be your vine, okay? So there we go. And then just sort of end it here, like that, so bring that round. Right. Then what we're going to do is we are going to cut that out. So if you cut down there and then you're going to cut round this bit here like that. And then you'll cut this bit here round there and just then follow the lines round and you'll end up with something like this. So as you can see that then spirals up like that so that is your vine that is your jesus and i've put a hole punch through so just hole punch the top and then put a ribbon through your hole like that so that you can hang it up when you've finished and it can be like a a, a vi i am the vine uh mobile okay so we'll put that to one side and then next we'll get the green paper like that what you need what you can do with this is fold the paper because you need lots and lots of hands so i'm only going to be able to do it twice because my hand is quite big you can probably do it four times because your hand is probably quite small and then draw around your hand like this i'm doing it quickly you can maybe do it a bit neater there we go. Or get an adult to draw around your hand if you're struggling. And then cut that out with your scissors. And you'll end up with something like that. Now you need quite a few of these. So do, do uh, maybe eight lots of hands. Or I asked my family to help me out. And then you can write on each one and stick that on your vine in a minute. Then what you need is you need some purple paper and again the quickest way to do this because we need at least nine berries is fold it up so that's uh four that'll be eight and then i'll do it another time and that'll probably be about 16 but i only need about nine and then i'm going to use the top of my glue you could use a coin or something else and i'm going to draw around my glue like that there you go there we go to give me a circle and then i'm going to cut that out with my scissors like that and then i get lots of colored circles and they're going to be my grapes to go on my vine okay so then you need to put it together so you've got your vine here and you have lots of hands what you need to do is to write on your hands things like I am the vine and you are the branches. John 15, 1 to 8. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Love your neighbour as yourself. Matthew twenty two thirty nine. 39. That's how Jesus wants us to live. Live the way Jesus did. Live by the Spirit. Be rooted in Jesus by being his friend. Talk and listen to him by praying. Be rooted in Jesus. Learn about him in the Bible or talk to other Christians. Be rooted in Jesus. Praise him through worship. Then what you're going to do is you're going to stick them all onto your vine. And it will look something like this. And then with your purple berries, like this, I've written the fruit of the Spirit. So I've got joy, love, peace, patience, kindness, 
goodness and self-control and then you can lift that up and you have got a really big vine to hang up in your bedroom somewhere wow what a vine craft next for you we have a bunch of paper grape craft what do you need lottie you will need some green card some purple paper pens and pencils to draw and write with some scissors watch out they're sharp and some sticky sticky glue stick so let's get crafty so how do we make a bunch of paper grapes well take a green piece of card or paper and with your pencil draw yourself a bunch of grapes in the green so there's the top bit where it uh, hangs on the tree and then i'm going to do a bit of a, a stalk and i'm going to do a leaf so bring it round like that and then a big end leaf and another leaf and then bring this bit round here that'll do and then a line there we go, there's the detail on my leaf. Then I'm going to do some round bumpy bits like this to just do the outline of the grapes. There we go. Make it quite rounded. Looks like a really nice bunch of grapes there. Right, you're going to cut this bit out, so don't worry. So then what you need to do is with your scissors cut that out and you will get something like this then put that to one side and get your purple paper now if you've got a guillotine you can cut your strips with a guillotine and get something like this if not what I've started to do is fold my paper backwards and forwards like this to make lots of different strips. And then I will cut up each line up there and up there and up there. And then you will end up with lots of strips that look like this. Then that's a bit long. So uh, fold your strip in half and cut here like this. And that's about the size of strip that you you want not too big and then next what you're going to do is you're going to take all your strips that you've got so here's all my strips and you're going to glue the end a bit like a paper chain but we're not going to link it all together we're going to glue the end and we're going to glue each one into a circle like this okay so you've got your circle there and then what we're going to do is we're going to so when you've got them all in a circle then you'll glue a line onto your grape outline like this and then you will uh, pop your rings on like that and when you've done all of them you will get something that looks like this and you have there your bunch of paper grapes that's all we've got time for i hope you've had great fun and um, remember your challenge this week guys so really staying rooted in jesus or connected to jesus being his friend and getting closer to him by reading and talking about him by praying and talking with him and listening to him by worshipping and singing. So good luck with that. Have a great first week in January and I will see you next week. Goodbye, children. Goodbye.